we have talked about waveforms and we have talked about spectrograms but i never clarified if they're the same thing or they're two separate things you need to know that a spectrogram is a three-dimensional visual representation of speech. It shows time horizontally, frequency vertically, and intensity by intensity of blackness on sensitized paper. So this is classic spectrogram. Nowadays, however, spectrographic information can be generated by using computer programs and displayed on a computer screen. So you don't need the hardware to produce it and you don't need the hardware to, to display it. We also have the term spectrum when we're talking about spectrograms and this term refers to the acoustic components that identify a complex sound wave. A spectrum ana analysis is a graph in which one axis displays the frequency of each harmonic and the other the amplitude. The device used to measure and display spectra, which is plural of spectrum, is called the spectrograph. On the top here, you see the IPA transcription of, of SHA. It is actually a word. So this thing is the waveform. And then what you see at the bottom in the middle here under SHA is called the spectrogram. So this is a three-dimensional visual representation of speech. So technically you could say it's two-dimensional, but the added dimensions comes with the intensity of the information in the spectrogram. So you see there are some points which are gray, some parts which are white, and some parts which are much darker. So that is the third dimension. Because obviously this is not three-dimensional in the sense of you know, like a movie or animated object. But it is three-dimensional in the sense that it has a horizontal axis which shows time, a vertical axis which shows frequency, and then you have that added dimension of intensity of information inside it, which is the intensity of blackness. So that is the third dimension. Other than the waveform on top and the spectrogram at the bottom, you have these four pieces, four slices. Basically, the bottom two are the same uh, as the top two, which have been rotated uh, counterclockwise, that have been cut out from the waveform. And the part from which these two have been cut out has been shaded and numbered and shown with an arrow. Slice three is the uh, 90 degree counterclockwise rotation of slice 1 and slice 4 is as the same relation with slice 2. And now this is important because this shows how we create spectrograms. Whenever you record sound, including on your phone, like if you have a sound recorder, you will see the waveform. You might have always asked yourself, how do we produce the spectrogram? And this is how we produce the spectrogram. So what you see here is a spectrogram with several spectra inside it. So each of these cutouts, you can see as a spectrum. The small pieces of the acoustic waveform are analyzed spectrally. Amplitude is shown on a grayscale. The darker, the higher the amplitude. So you see, even these cutouts have different degrees of darkness, which shows the amplitude. The spectral slices each of these slices is called a spectral slice, are rotated and stacked together in a three-dimensional display. That three-dimensional display, which is here down in the middle, is called a spectrogram. In this particular waveform, you see this small waveform, which is just for the two phonemes shock connected together to produce a continuous stream of sound to produce the word sha. In this small slice of utterance or speech, you can get 213 spectral slices. Basically, every two milliseconds during the utterance, you can produce one new spectrogram. Spectrograms are especially important. They're very informative and they're very useful, primarily because they are a visual display or a visual translation of how our ear actually processes speech because they provide a visual display of speech that corresponds to the analysis performed by the ear. The spectrograms help us deduce articulatory gestures since articulations have acoustic signatures. 
For example, sh is noticeably different. With such comparisons, one can train the eye to recognize sounds instantly.